Hey, Sian. Um, hi, Padra, Padra Khan, captain of Pakistan National Women's Football Team. Uh, it's great to have you here. How are you doing today? I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. And you? I'm good. Do you hear me? Yeah, I hear you now. I hear you. Great. So, Sian, um, unfortunately, we couldn't have you um, here physically in Pakistan. So, um, how's it going? How's everything? How's the freestyling going in the room nowadays? That's basically where I freestyle, just a tiny room. Uh, but yeah, I'm here at home, yeah. with the family, and uh, yeah, trying to, to, to work on different projects, uh, getting the time to, to see what I can do, you know, like. Like everybody, we try to figure out every single day. Yeah, that's true. Um, well, there's enough time for family now. Yeah, that's 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 the best part about it, I think. Um, but let me uh, just welcome the rest of us uh, here. Um, hello, Pakistan. We have uh, with us <clears throat> the freestyler, the Red Bull athlete, Sian Garnier. Um, and um, <clears throat> and we're gonna go ahead um, answer some questions and we're gonna um, talk about some tips and tricks from Sian. Um, so you guys keep keep in touch, keep keep logged in. Uh, this is gonna be a good session. Um, so Sian, tell when did you when did you start um, freestyling? When did you um, think you wanted to be a freestyler and not <clears throat> a pro football player? Uh, so I was a football player before when I, I started at six years old. Uh, I loved the ball, you know, I was always with the ball 24 hours. We call me uh, Captain Tsubasa. Uh, yeah, I was playing all the time with my friend and I had the chance to be uh, uh, recruited by uh, a professional club, enter to a formation center playing in Auxerre and Troyes for uh, almost 10 years, from 10 years old to 20 years old. But some injury problems and uh, like kind of slow me down. But I I, I, st I still figure out to, to to work with the professional team. So I was training with the pro for one year, and uh, at that moment I receive a, a big uh, I get a big big injury which I broke my ankle and I had like almost one year to recover. At that time I took the decision to to pass my uh, diploma of uh, coach. So I, I start to. To, to study how to be a coach in case I couldn't really be a professional football player. And during that time, I discovered like people love the football, but they love to see like tricks. You yeah. See? We, we want to see more of that now in a bit. <laughs> people, people like get the smile, you know, when you do some tricks. And this, this aspect of football, I didn't really find it in, in, the, real, in the real football. I found it when I start like outside with the with the friends in front of your house. So like in this year, I start to, to to play more in this way. Like every time I coach the kids, I teach them how to do some tricks, and I re I realize people love it. And one day I enter like a, a street football competition. I was not really a freestyler at that time. Just mm -hmm. I brought the kids with me, uh, and and I was able to do it as myself because it was open for everyone, kids. Uh, middle age uh, and 20, 25 years old. So I entered, I was 20, 20 years old at the time. I entered the competition. I qualified for the national one-on-one uh, -on -one, uh, championship and I, I won it. And when I won, I had the chance to play against one of the famous football players at that time in France called Sidney Govou. Oh, uh, yeah. In Lyon. And I did one-on-one. -on -one. I did a nutmeg to him. Then... Uh, all the camera came to me. I yeah. get interview, and I realized like this is the, maybe the first time in my life I will talk in front of the camera. Um, even if I played in the in the professional club, it was really the first time. And in two minutes, I get the attention of the whole everybody, like fifty or one hundred person, just by doing that trick. Yes, yeah. that moment changed my life yeah. because I realized if I play outside of the pitch. I can really get the attention to different people. So why not yeah. play on the pitch and outside both, both together? Both and together. On, the outside become more than the pitch himself. 
Uh, yeah. That's excellent. That's excellent, Sian. Uh, it's great to hear. Unfortunately, I know, you know, um, I understand what injuries can do to you. I had a, a, a bad knee injury. I couldn't play for two years. Um, and now finally I'm back. But um, I actually met you back in 2015 when you came to Pakistan. And uh, you not met me twice uh, in Islamabad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but yeah, yeah, but 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 it's also like a great experience, you know. Um, like you said, it's not about winning or losing either. It's about you know um, that experience you get, you know, when you um, um, experience such things. I mean, street football. There's not a lot of uh, there's not a lot of people playing street football here in Pakistan. I mean, they are, but they want to be perfect, you know. Um, but yeah, um, moving on, you did a bit of a, 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 a trick on the finger with the ball right now. Uh, do you want to show us some more? Um, what are you going to teach us guys here who, who are waiting for you to show some uh, freestyle moves to us? So uh, I'm really curious to see like most of the people who are with us, maybe there is some freestyler, there is like people who don't know about freestyle. Um, so just to like, I, I will try to explain to people what is what try to 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 make clear because for people mind everything outside of the pitch is freestyle and when you are fancy on the pitch it's also freestyle but you yeah. need to talk about different sports actually it's like uh, talking about table tennis and tennis you know both plays with a racket and small ball but the the la the weight is different the everything is different so I, I'm going I'm gonna just show because the, the space is really tiny, so <laughs> that's why it's not really easy easy to do some like a real show. But I will try to, to showcase what I can do, or at least explain to people. Yeah, because I'm not sure people will see. Yeah. Okay. Uh huh. That's I love your kit. <laughs> ah, thank you. Yeah, I have, I have plenty of cap there. This is my wall cap as a Red Bull athlete, <laughs> as you can see. Oh, I love the collection. We'll talk about your collection when you're back. Yeah. Oh, I love it. Um, so <laughs> I don't know if you're going to see the full body and everything, so we're going to try to figure out. Yeah. So, okay. so you, I'm going to skip this, okay? So basically, yeah. Uh, if we talk about uh, football, okay, in football, most of the time you use, uh, like they talk you in the, in the club to use inside, outside, uh, front foot. I play in back foot actually because this is the best way to improve technique. That's why I wanted to show that to people. I'm at home, there is no fancy element, just me and my ball, tiny place and you can work on. That's really something mm -hmm. I want to insist because some people, they don't have, uh, they don't have pitch, they don't have anything. But you can still improve your skills. So, so what? What in football you learn all this touch, you know? But in street football, you can actually uh, improve this touch by doing those stuff like that. So this is like how I not make you last time. Is because I got this control. Yeah. Okay. So. So this is, you know, like all this kind of move. All this kind of move is, is called ground move, okay? So that's a technique you learn just by doing that. i show you. So every day, you warm up by doing this, side to side, then front to front, then after, behind the leg. Behind, okay? So that... That exercise, it's uh, it's called ground move. It's actually the basic stuff I I learn I I learn to master the ball. And when I play against people, I invent let's say one or two way to move around the people, and from there I analyze how you move. Okay. Then after oh. after there is a secret technique called the aka. Aka is when you do this. This is ah. a, oh, this is a aka, or like the flip flap is a aka. Mm -hmm. so, most fancy aka, the one I use the most called the air aka. So this is the one. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I so think that was one of the ones you beat me to. <laughs> well, I just gonna teach 
to the people really quickly. You can see that on my YouTube channel, on, on Facebook as well. I teach yep. that to people all the time. So step one, you block the ball here. Step two, you jump on the side of your strong foot. For me, it's the left, so I jump on the left. If you are right foot, you jump on the right. I jump, and at the last time, I release the ball and I kick. Boom. Uh, okay. Nice. So imagine, I'm doing the ground move, then I see you are scared, so you close your leg. So I'm doing that move around you. Mm -hmm. What? People scream, wow, like especially in Pakistan. <laughs> Pakistan, the atmosphere is really crazy. So yeah. right, people scream, people scream. So what is your next reaction? You do the move, the air marker. You, you're going to take the ball. Because I'm dribbling you, I'm doing the AK around you, then yeah. after you think, oh, it's enough, I need to get the ball. Mm -hmm. That's where people are going to come with their leg, and that's yeah. where I do the pana. That's mm -hmm. it. You know, and, and for working on the pana, it's really simple. You put two steps on the floor, okay, mm -hmm. or maybe like that, and you just like pana, and pana, and oh. pana. You know, and you try to work on angle. Maybe it's more like this. So you have to go all the way around and coming back. So this is, this, this little uh, practice in three ways, control, yeah. is come from, is for the street football and from yeah. Pana. Street football and Pana is one sport. Now, freestyle is different. This uh. is... This is more freestyle. Uh, Oh, look at that. Good stuff, Sharon. Good stuff. It's just a lot of people in Fox are uh, freestyle crazies. Um, but a lot of people also complain that they don't have space to train. But um, whoever's watching, look at Sharon's space. He's got like a, a small space for himself, just enough for him, his own self and the ball and that collection of hats. And you're good too. <laughs> yeah. And some Red Bull as well. All right. Awesome. So, yeah, so yeah, like freestyle is more like free expression. For me, the goal is, is to express the self, yourself, but also maybe for, yeah. make you smile, you know? So yeah, yeah. you need to, to create your own way, your own tricks, and look at the difficulty of the tricks, but mm -hmm. also always look like, how your tricks make people react. That's that's how I build myself. Yeah. And so, um, what, what is your favorite ever move? Like, you know, one move and the crowd is sold. What is that one move you... Okay, so so every single show, and maybe you remember when I was in Pakistan, I start the, my show with the same, same move all the time. Because I think um, a show is like a story. So when, when you do a story, there is a beginning, a middle, and the end. Between that, you try to not lose people, but mm -hmm. it's really important to have some key point in the story. When I do a show, for me, it's the same. I, I take in consideration when I... I take in consideration when I start. <laughs> there is my son saying... <laughs> it's you. Let's say hi to your son. <laughs> no, no, no. He's doing as well. He's here all the time. Yeah. He's with me. Yeah, he's doing freestyle all the time with me. Look at him. Hello. What's his name? Kekian. He can balance the ball on his head all the time. <laughs> he's shy right now. Yeah, he's shy. Otherwise, if you don't go on the screen, it's gonna be mad. So that's why I, I give him the time. He get the shout out, then now he can he can he's leave. <laughs> yeah. Um so so what I was saying is like every single show is really important to have a story mode. And uh, for me, I always start, I always start the, the show with this move. I, I will try to show you, it's really hard because it's a, 
like tiny, but you're going to flick up. So it's a flick up. So I'm going to flick up the body in the air. Okay? Ah, so when I do that most of the time in the show, I do that really high. So when mm -hmm. I start, I try, to, I try to do it on the beat, on the music. And, and that's, that's create a good effect. And everybody starts to do wow. And now after, it's just for me the way to keep the energy of the people and continue yeah. with the show. Yeah. Cool. That's pretty interesting. Um, and you, you want to stick to the freestyling, um, you know, for a long time to come? You want to stick to it? Or are you also coaching on the side? You know, there is there is two ways to see it. Yeah. There is, if you compare to football, you would say, oh, around 35, 36 is going to be the end. So almost for me. Yeah. And, uh, are you thinking like a surf people or a dancer or, or different sports? They yeah. can, or basketball, even basketball. They can go for a long time. I think yeah. it's just in time, you know? You can always create, especially now you have different tools. Okay, you have the competition side, and we're going to talk later, I think, with Red Bull Sweet side. But yeah. you have also video, you have to create content so you can be creative. And it's not necessarily the best things to do, it's like how you impact people with what you do. So I think there is this still a large way for me to express. And even if I cannot, compete in the highest level i can still teach to people how to develop themselves because i got the chance to 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 learn from a lot of people and there is a lot of information who are missing when you watch stuff on yeah. internet when we watch tutorial people can learn the tricks but not really where it's come from so for me i think i can really help on that That's, in, that's pretty interesting, actually. Um, it's just like, you know, having a skill for a lifetime and, you know, teaching others and, you know, still doing shows and competing. Uh, but since you're having a Red Bull right now, wearing a Red Bull shirt, um, how was it uh, to become a Red Bull athlete? And when did you become a Red Bull athlete? Okay, I need to sit for that story because it's a crazy Yeah, one. sure. We'll get, you, we'll get you standing up sooner. Okay. So, basically... Um, to be a Red Bull athlete, um, it was like a dream come true. Uh, but to be honest with you, I, at the beginning, I didn't know really the brand. Like, I, 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 yeah, like this. I didn't know really to. I didn't know really the brand because uh, in France it was forbidden. Red Bull was forbidden. Uh, it arrived in 2008, uh, and at that time I was doing street shows. When I did street shows uh, at that time, the all Red Bull car. So you know the car with. Uh, the big can on the top. Yeah, they, did the, yeah, yeah. they did like something around where I was, and all the people when I was doing the show, all the people mm -hmm. were struck by the car, and I was really mad, you know, because I was like, <laughs> they steal the show from me. From me. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. What are these brand like? What they are doing? And I came in front of the car, start to do my my tricks, and uh, I say, okay, I'm not gonna move from the road. Instead of you do, you give me something. Then that's how we get the connection. Then they invite me after the office. We get to meet each other. They they challenge me to do the world championship in two months. I train crazy for that world championship. And when I arrived at the, it was in Brazil. I was really confident to win because uh, I learned freestyle in the street. And yeah. in the street, you are not really learning the best tricks, but you're learning the best spirit. And mm -hmm. at that. Nobody really knows how to, to do the competition, to battling, and mm -hmm. that's why I make me world champion in 2008 in Brazil, Red Bull Street Style, and yeah. I think that's also what make the brand take the the, the ship, like, okay, we're going to take Cian because maybe his profile is interesting, uh, mm -hmm. his way to, to think, and, you know, we were in connection, like, like every, social media growing up, uh, ball sports, football, Everything was was connect and it was a great fit, I think. That's great. So you were at the right time, you know. The the Red Bull car was around. You were doing your freestyling, and everything was set, huh? Um, yeah. That's pretty incredible. So what was your first gig with um, Red Bull? When when you signed up with Red Bull, when they got in touch with you, when did you start with these guys? Uh, the first thing I did, I think, was actually in Dubai. So. Mm -hmm. uh, I and it's funny because now I live in Dubai, so I won the Red Bull Street Style, and uh, so I did a couple of stuff with them before, but I was not a Red Bull athlete. 
they just activate me for some show just before the world championship to see how I am with people, how I use oh. maybe the, the, the stuff. But I was, not, I was not a Red Bull athlete. Once I signed uh, as a Red Bull athlete, they sent me in Dubai to, to judge uh, the Red Bull Street Style qualifier for the UAE. And, you know, I oh, really nice. loved it because I, I had to do TV performance, TV interview. I didn't speak English at all. Uh, I had to do a workshop for the community. And I see a, a lot of potential. Mm -hmm. I can do that every year, like in the whole world, because yeah. I have too much to give. And and that's how I start. Mm -hmm. And I, I came to Pakistan for the first time in 2015. And my first gigs with yeah. Red was in 2009. So during all that uh, year, doing country, countries, countries, and you know, uh, yeah, it, it was cool. Yeah, it was good. <laughs> That's excellent. Uh, so, what's your since we're talking about a lot of countries? What's your favorite country been that you've been to with the show? It's it's hard to say to be honest because every country has its own flavor. Uh, I can't really say one more than the other because I'm gonna dis disappear, disappoint people, and I don't want that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't have it direct in my mind, but if I have to talk about Pakistan, what I really love is the atmosphere. And the, like, there yeah. is some country for sure they have beautiful, big, beautiful element, or maybe more technology or more fancy. Uh, for sure, the football element for sure for me is gonna be the main main stuff. So Brazil, when you go to Brazil, this is something uh, because like everybody's playing football in the in the beach. In the street, in the favelas, uh, you can you can find crazy, crazy game and crazy level at 2 a.m. in the morning. So Brazil for me was one of the most Japan because when you go to Japan, it's a different culture, it's a different way to yeah. think. They are really open mind for the artists. So and when I went there, I worked a lot. I, I trained a lot with this community, the freestyler. They train whole night long, and I really love that. Um, wow. Yeah, in Japan yeah. they are crazy. They work, they they go after eating 10 p.m. They go to train till 3 a.m. in the morning. They go to sleep. They wake up at seven. They train again. They go to sleep one <laughs> two hours and they train again. It's 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 yeah. crazy. Yeah, and uh, it's, it's yeah. And Pakistan, no. Pakistan, Pakistan, like really the atmosphere in Pakistan was was crazy. Like I remember like. Uh, we went to uh, to Lahore, Karachi, Islamabad. Uh, yeah. The atmosphere when we go to, I remember a couple of university. I don't remember the name, but like, uh -huh. like I remember doing a dance battle against some of the students. Uh, I, remember, <laughs> I remember playing against a football team. I, uh, yeah. Like, yeah. I the army coming with me, escort me to the middle of the pitch. Yeah. Well, I, a crazy yeah. week and, and and i'm sure i'm sure this tour get a really impact on people based on what i saw after in social media with the message it's a it's a shame i didn't do a proper video because i think that video might might, might work on internet but definitely we can work on a different tour and i hope 2015 was the past but maybe yeah. the future create something in yeah. there's, always a, there's always a next time Yeah, there's always the next time, and you better be coming back again soon, all right? We'll do, like, nice setup, nice video, and everything for you. <laughs> Great. Hello? You talk about freestyle and, um, you know, um, how... Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah, I hear you, yeah. Okay, yeah. So, uh, just... Awesome, great. Just talking about freestyle and how you know um, you saw the kind of freestyle in, in uh, Brazil and Japan. What do you think? Um, give some um, tips on the kind of equipment a Pakistani kid or a regular person might need to um, get into the whole freestyle business. If they've been a football player and you know if they have some touches, what do you think they need to become a freestyler? Uh, basically, you okay. need. You need the you need to be passionate. You need you need to want some. You need to want it. You need to be passionate. You need to be uh, passion. That's mean like you need to. You can't have something now. That's a really big problem with people now. Like 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 people people want stuff now. They want follower now. They want 
comment, likes now. But everything takes time. Yeah. Everything takes time. And, and even now, I want stuff, but I know it's going to take me two, three, four, five years to get it. That's fine. I'm fine with that. That's the game. I love the game yeah. more than the result. And this is what you need to remember with freestyle. You need to love the game. You need to have to, yeah. have to really passionate with your ball. I just get a discussion with my wife just before. And uh -huh. you know, at, my, at my level, people will, will maybe say, oh, see, I don't need anything. You don't need he have followers, he, he got Red Bull athletes, you know. But at that at my level, I, I need something to aim. I need I need the um, goals. And you need to yeah. set up goals basically and go for it. And and, and yeah. that's should be the most important. It doesn't matter if you don't match your goal, if you don't go through, this is gonna drive you somewhere and you after are gonna find different 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 ways. And maybe you're never gonna mm -hmm. be a freestyle world champion, but everything you learn in this uh, path gonna be in you for the whole rest of your life which is amazing and, and maybe you're not gonna be the best with your ball but you're gonna le you learn how to train for five to, to five three four to five hours in the in the same pitch and 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 yeah. when you have to edit a video you can be stay concentrated for four or five hours May when you're gonna yeah. have, go to do meeting and presentation you can be concentrated for four or five hours you need to take yep. in, uh, every aspect and, and 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 be grateful for that. Yeah, that's so true. I mean, it's about anything. If you want to be good at anything, you need to practice, 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 and have that will to practice. Because, I mean, everybody gets bored. Everybody gets tired of doing the same thing again and again. But if we don't do it, we don't become perfect at it, right? You're exactly. absolutely right. So um, one more question, and then we're going to speak about the uh, Red Bull Freestyle. What is the most challenging trick you've done um, at a show? And you were kind of like, okay, I'm going to do this trick now. I hope it goes well. You know how you're thinking in your head before you're doing some tricks? So what's the uh, most difficult, most challenging that's been? There is two tricks. Uh, two tricks. I'm not really doing this now because it's a little bit... Uh, uh, challenging to be honest because we think we think tricks uh it's just tricks and it's not dangerous but some of them are, are really painful or dangerous if you miss that it's not only juggling with the ball sometimes you have to do 360 or turn your body in a certain way depend of your style of freestyle uh i remember in 2010 in uh, in, in south africa uh, i used to do a battle against uh, one of uh, my friends a really good friend of mine from Belgium called Sufjan Benkok, like an upcoming talent at that time, um, really confident. Yeah. And this guy was learning all my tricks. And it was weird for me because it was a friend, but at the same time I was saying, you should not copy as a freestyler. You should invent your own style. But now I, yeah. I think a little bit. I think it's good to, to, to copy someone till the time you are mature to do your own style. So I will, But that, before I was not like that. And, and when I see him doing, like, matching me with the trick, at one point, the year, the music was was in a way to drop a bit, like, like you know, when the music is progressing, progressing, yeah, yeah. drop a bit, come. And the ball came, and I, I did, like, a, an, uh, I don't know, a, a half split. I don't know if you, how you, you can do it. Okay, that. I got it, got it, got it. So a half spl a split. So it's basically uh, dropping myself on the floor with the, one leg extend and one leg uh, bend, and I bounce the ball on my on my extend leg. But I did that in a way because you know uh, I watch a lot of dance move dance videos, and they were always doing this move, and it was always in my mm -hmm. mind. I never really practiced, and when I try in live, because I was in the zone, you know, I was in the zone at that time, and that's for me a good 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 remember of like just freestyle, go with the flow. And uh, the other one was called, a trick called the Feuille Mort, which means uh, like uh, something from the, the air going in the floor, something like that in French. I don't know how to explain, but it's like, okay. it's like catching the ball in the air upside down. And it took me a oh, while wow. okay. uh, because it's, it's, it's kind of acrobatics. And uh, yeah, that's mm -hmm. my tricks, basically. Yeah, that's pretty interesting. Um, for those who are really curious about these two tricks, check out his um, Instagram or YouTube pages, uh, and I'm sure you'll have some uh, 
good tricks, uh, Pierce Lee as well. Um, okay, Stan, why don't you talk about the Red Bull Street style now? Um, so yeah, let's talk about the Red Bull Street style. Uh, but just before that, maybe I'm gonna send the tricks to Red Bull Pakistan, so they can they awesome. can they can post it and and people can see what I'm talking about. Um, yeah. So so yeah, about Red Bull Street style for me, uh, this year is huge because of course it's not a great time for the world as it's a pandemic. So you know some people suffer for that, some people don't work, some it's really hard for some people, but. As human, you need to take everything in a positive way, even if it's hard for you, because everything happened for a reason. And that time for freestyler, I think this is one of the best time for them to represent who they are, because the Red Bull street style is a competition, but that this year is going to be online. That's mean everybody can participate and be qualified. There, there is absolutely no limit compared to before, or only one per country will be to the world final. Now you just need to submit your video and maybe you will, you will be qualified even if there is people from, from the same country as you. So it's your chance to represent yourself. Perfect. So this is a perfect opportunity for all the Pakistanis, um, you know, aspiring freestylers, freestylers who want to get, um, you know, on a global level, want to compete at a global level. Um, like Sian said, the street style, uh, you can send in your videos online um and it's it could be anybody it could be any one of you come up with the best tricks you have up your sleeve come up with the best expression you can give and get a chance to represent your country pakistan at the uh fingers crossed uh we hope that there's a, a really good pakistani um freestyler in the competitions hopefully um yeah there yeah. is there yeah there is. What, what did you think of the freestylers when you were here last time uh, last time I I met some of them, but not 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 all the time. I met I think I saw maybe seven to eight freestyler. But at one point I see a freestyle team. I don't remember what the name they had, mm -hmm. but they they were really good. Uh, I'm sure now they improved a lot. Uh, like 2015 is like the last century, you know. In freestyle, yeah. you can become a different a different guy if you work if you put on the work. Like you can transform your skills from a different planet, from uh, the Earth to to Pluto, just by <laughs> working every day. Yeah, that's true. So for me, uh, you know, I play as a striker on the team. Um, I play football, and um, you know, for me, I'm more of a faster player and uh, less of a, you know a, a trick star on the field. But um, there are times when you know. Um, I do pull a, a move or two while I'm playing, um, mostly street style moves. But I mean, obviously, I stay within the rules. But um, I've I personally have enjoyed doing these tricks while I'm playing, uh, rather than you know being outside of the field and uh, sort of expressing myself as a freestyler. Um, and and maybe it isn't for me, you know, like not everybody can do everything. I have to leave something for you to do as well, right? <laughs> yeah. But I I think I think also it just because uh, and and that's a personal vision for me as a football player, but also as a freestyler. I think yeah. uh, in football everything is already staged, so that's mean when you go to your club and when you play, you can actually measure what's going to be the impact if you do stuff, this stuff, or you know, mm -hmm. if you do some tricks. You you can't really measure uh, if you can touch people. Or like in that street is gonna mean something for people. So in a way, uh, it's it's going to the to the black. You know, you go you go and you yeah. don't know what happen or what what mean your stuff. Or in football, you do if you if you know you're gonna not make someone. If you not yeah. make someone on the pitch, you actually know this video. If I get it, I post it. Maybe four three three is gonna repost or, or football Pakistan will repost it, and that's gonna yeah. bring the internet. You know what I mean? So yeah, yeah, yeah. like and. Um, what I want to say as well is like freestyle and football are two different sports. You know, it's like it's like a, a poker and a magician. You know, yeah. like poker, you play with the card. It's a game. You have rules. Magician, take the card, go outside of poker and become a technical player with the card. Freestyle is yeah. the same. You take the ball, you go outside of the game of football and you become a technical player with the football. And you don't think about like scoring goal and stuff like that the only thing you you want to do is express yourself 
but it's like people who rap, you know, or people who dance. It's more a way, and maybe some people that you don't you don't feel this way to express. You don't you don't need to to express that way because you can talk to people, you can maybe sing, you can you have a good relationship without the ball with the people. But for my case, for example, back in the day, I was really shy. I can't really talk to someone. If I do in this conversation 20 years ago, I will be like my t-shirt. I will be red. You know what I mean? <laughs> the only yeah. way to shirt was the ball. And and that's that's why also I I I I I want to encourage people to try it because when you know how to play with this ball outside of the pitch, it's actually give you a big power because everybody is impressed. Yeah. Everybody you you, yeah. like, you know Michel Platini. Yeah, of course. You know Maradona. Of course. Okay, I had the chance to 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 touch those guys, uh, just because I stand out from the population. Yeah. We were all player, but the fact I was doing something different gave me this thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. And and that's yes, what yeah. I want to the football community as well. You might not be interested by by doing freestyle skills on the pitch. And you should not, because actually you can't really play with freestyle skill. You're not going to do around the world on catching the ball between your leg. Or exactly. the ball. There is no way. But uh, the fact to be confident like that with the ball gives you a marketing value. And, and that's really important in our world. Imagine that one kid in Pakistan have the same skills, the same level in football, and one kid in Europe. For sure, uh, this kid in Pakistan will not be in the advantage. All the club will take the Europe kit. Why? Because it's closer, uh, the knowledge, the talking, yeah. the culture and everything. But if this kid in Pakistan can actually do skills everywhere in the pitch, but also outside, his mm -hmm. value market will be over. Yeah. And, and people don't figure out that. People don't. Yeah. People confuse freestyle and football. Some people take it bad, like they say, ah, freestyle is not really good for football. You know this, this talking? But free, yeah. some people, they, they think, oh, why well, you don't play football? So you should, you should use this advantage. Mm -hmm. You should use the confusion of people and just be skillful with the ball. And that's mm -hmm. going to give you a big, big market value, I think. Yeah, that's absolutely true. You know, there's, there's people around here in Pakistan. Um, I also get some endorsements or anything you know if there's a competition there's like a friendly uh showcase where i have to do something with the ball and um there's a few things that i can do but you know people are mostly like oh you're a football player how do you not know freestyle and i have to tell them that i am a football player yes but i'm not a freestyler you know what i mean and they don't get the difference um if i'm putting hours in football like training and practice and you know playing by the rules for hours, I need the same amount of time to practice that freestyle skill. And people here don't understand that. But hopefully, um, you know, um, I mean, hopefully people will start understanding the difference and uh, not just criticize um, everybody uh, for not being able to do anything. Um, yeah. And I, I, I think you should, you should uh, practice not both, because if your goal is to be a football player, for sure you need to, to practice on the pitch. But actually to... To be able to do skills, imagine there is Nike campaign uh, or Red Bull campaign for the girl uh, around something. They, who's they gonna take it? They're gonna take uh, some girl who can do something with the ball, some special girl, and you're gonna be in. You know what I mean? And especially for the girl yeah. who, who try to be different. Like maybe people when they see a girl doing uh, uh, football, they think, oh, like woman football is under. Uh, main football, but actually, you know, in Red Bull Street style, the girl can participate, and and yeah. I know some some girls they, they can match the boys with the tricks. That's that's also the beauty of it. Is, is yeah, there is sure. like a you you can play with the power, but you can play with the elegance. You can play with different elements, and and it's it's a really good tool to consider. Mm -hmm. and, and remember also something, and in Pakistan for sure. Uh, did, where, where did you start football? Question for you. Uh, Karachi. I started in Karachi. Here, Pakistan. What was your first place to play football? Hello? Uh, in Karachi. In the compound where I live. 
basically. But I, I mean, it, it, it was a, like an 11 side pitch, it was a street football pitch, it was a concrete. It, how was it? The first, the first time I, I mean, when I, before I started competing, I was playing on concrete. Yeah. Just like all of us. Yes. And that's the thing I want to, 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 to put on the point. Like, before anything else, everybody starts to play street football or freestyle football. Everybody yeah. starts to play on the street. Everybody starts to play in, front, in, in their little space, doing some juggle, kicking the ball against the wall. So that means there is more people who play street football and freestyle than people who play 11 aside. Yeah. And if sports become big, it's going to be huge. So you yeah. better be ready for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm tearing up. I'm practicing. What are you expecting from the Red Bull Street Style competition this year? Yeah, I expect, I'm expecting Red Bull Street Style to put the light on new kids and give opportunity to some some people to join me as a Red Bull athlete, basically. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm wishing I can spot some new new young talent and uh, help them in their career. And uh, yeah, maybe. You know, there is a lot of kids uh, who, are, who were not able to travel in the past because uh, they couldn't really afford the travel to do a qualifier. But maybe that year they can just upload the 30 second video. The only thing you need, it's a mm -hmm. phone. Even if you mm -hmm. don't have a phone, I'm sure around you there is someone who has phone and internet connection. I'm sure. M maybe you can just do a, a free show to someone around you uh, and just tell him, listen, I do a free show for you. Then just take 30 seconds and up, I can upload my video uh, with your phone. Because I know some kids that don't have internet maybe. I know some kids maybe struggle with the connection and stuff like that. But there is always a way. If you think, oh, I don't have this, or I don't have that, you're going to limit yourself. In this world, there is always a way. And everything happens for a reason. So you, you should believe in yourself and not give you any limit. Yeah, that's great advice, Sian. Um, okay, so is there is there something you would like to talk about? Um, I'll leave the floor to you. What do you if there is there? Do you have any questions um, uh, about Pakistani football or anything? Do you see actually the 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 question of the people now or not? We don't see any question of the people. Uh, we will, but um, let's. Why don't you show us five minutes of some tricks of what yeah. you do best? The, the, only thing, now, yeah? the only thing is where I am, it's really, really hard to do crazy tricks because it's really small. I can really only only do like some, uh, some, some you know, easy stuff, let's say, because the big tricks, uh, I might kill something around me. <laughs> uh, but what, what I would like, uh, do you think if there is a freestyle community here? Uh, in, in the live, like we do for sure. We have, we have followers. Okay. Yeah, there's people who are watching. Okay, so what I, I wanted to give them, and it might be more, uh, let's say, more sexy for them. I think as an advice, I, maybe at the end of the of that, I'm gonna do some move and I'm gonna challenge myself to do something cool. But but how the camera is looking, I'm not sure if you see my half body playing with the ball. It's not gonna be like wow. Compare if you go to my Facebook or Instagram, you're gonna see like the real potential of me. But the information I can give you, I think it's more yeah. powerful now. Every everybody who want to participate in the Red Bull, yeah. everybody who want to participate to the Red Bull Street Style, the only thing you need to do is to download the apps called WFFA. This application, okay? You need to download that and register. Once you register for that. You should just click on this. This is gonna appear. Red Bull Street Style Competition. You click, boom, and that's gonna give you this screen. This is really simple. You go down, and you're gonna. Ju you just need to uh, upload your video. That's it. When you upload your video, you need to film yourself in horizontal, not vertical. Horizontal, really important. So you you film yourself in horizontal. And now I'm gonna give the audience like. A good tips. So if you are a pro freestyler, this is for you. If you are not a pro freestyler, this is also for you because I'm gonna give you uh, my tips to perform the best as a um, if you enter to the competition. First of all, you need to put the light behind the camera. So this is the light. You see? So the light should be behind the camera because you see now you see me clearly. 
So if the sun, if you film outside, the sun should be not in front of you. The sun should be outside and come behind the camera. This is really important. After that, you need, you need to put the, 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 the camera horizontal. So you need to put the, the camera like that. So find a good spot. Don't do like me. Don't take a spot with a lot of stuff. Take a spot with white, <laughs> black, uh, you know. Let, let's say take a black spot, wear red, and take a white ball. You're gonna shine from the background. Really important. You know all these little details. It's like you. It's like you when you try to understand the football game. What I'm doing is I'm trying to understand the game of Red Bull Street Style online. It's not the same game as Red Bull Street Style in live. So I'm trying to see what little details I can take. So clothes is important. Ball is important. The background is important. All this kind of stuff can make you. The angle of the camera can change. You know. So if I'm doing stuff like that, you know, I put the ball here, here. But if I'm doing like stuff like this, for example, uh, let's say like that, mm -hmm. it can make the ball more impressive because you film from higher. So you find you you need to find the best angle, okay? Then after when you're gonna do your routine, the the most important for you is to find uh, 30 seconds really strong. So you should find five five of your favorite tricks and create a link uh, between them okay so so yeah. i don't know for example you you say okay i'm gonna do like three around the world then block the boat boom okay so if you think that and I, you yeah. say okay next next tricks i'm gonna put the ball uh in the t-shirt for example okay how i can how i can make this together so you work on your your stuff three around the world Blocking and then you think how I can do that. Oh, maybe I can I can from here do this boom boom tag. Okay, now next tricks is uh, going on the ground. Okay, so maybe I do like something like this. I go on the ground and I do this. So and you try to put a transition. So from the ball on the t-shirt, yeah. you go on the floor. Boom, going up, tag 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 tag. You see. So basically, you try to, to combine all your tricks together. And I will say you try to evolve, make a routine and you try to make this routine evolve. Most important is like this routine should be really fluid and uh, I don't know, should be really um, impactful for the video. So when you film yourself, if you don't like it, redo it. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, okay, so uh, <clears throat> just for everybody who's listening, it has to be a one clip video. Uh, there's no edits in the video um, and um, no music. You cannot no. drop the ball. No uh, music, yeah? Uh, this is, this is, uh, so I want to just, uh, because I'm working with WFFA, so I know the, the rules. So yeah, no music, really important. No editing. Uh, film yourself in horizontal, so like this really important you should be older than 16 years old okay um uh, also about the dropping the ball you yeah. you can you can actually do ground move you can do okay. that yeah you can you can do stuff like that if you think this is impressive you can you can do this you know because from sometimes you can use some tricks you know you can do yeah. i don't know stuff like that got it so that if you let's say you need to keep the control of the ball, but the yeah. judge is gonna not gonna give you a, a bad point if the if you do ground moves because there is tricks transition with the ground move. So it's okay to do it. I tell you because I know the, the people who's gonna judge and we discuss about that together. Uh, what else? Um, yeah, I think I think that that's it, you know. That's that's the main point. That's the main point. We're just going to uh, recap this again. <clears throat> 30 seconds to do your tricks. No music. Uh, you can, uh, you know, do some grand, ground movements, but it has to be fluid. And you have to upload them on the WFFA app, right? Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, now are you going to show us some moves before okay. we wrap up? So yeah. Why is really hard to do a, like a real show? I want you to send me to give me three challenge, and I will try to to make it. Uh, okay, why, why don't we have some people here? Uh, 
just do your best. Give us a show with the compact space that you have. Okay. And so, yeah, I can't really make a transition, so I think challenge is going to be more imp impressive. So okay. Uh, let's say, let's say, you know the around the world tricks. This one. You know this one. Hello. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How how many do you think I can do around the world? I don't know. Um, 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 I think you can do like 75. I don't know. You can do a what? lot of them. <laughs> 75. I need to drink 10 Red Bull to do it. <laughs> 75. <laughs> Here, no, just, it's going to be really hard. Just, okay. just do you as know, many as possible. No, no. It's good to have it. You know, let's talk okay, about fine. Ronaldinho. Yeah. Ronaldinho you know, is, a, is a good, really technical football player. And he's a good freestyler as well. Yeah. You know, you know the, how many around the world the Ronaldinho can do? How many? He did five. Yeah. His maximum. Okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's triple it. Fifteen. Okay? Oh, okay. Cool. Fifteen is a good number. Yeah. Three times Ronaldinho around the world record. Okay. Let's see awesome. if I can. Do. Let's I do it. Try. No, no shoes and tiny space. Okay. You three got it. Give me three try. Yeah. Oh, okay, first I want to. First of all, I want to hear all the Pakistani people who are listening to to give Roshan. me. The, yeah, Roshan. Hear you, hear you. Come on, come on, give me some love, Pakistanis. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, we can make it happen. Fifteen around the world in a row in this tiny space. Three, two, one, and let's go. One, two, three, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. You got it, Gosha. <laughs> Try number two. <laughs> I, I need you guys like Go. the video. So like this, I, I'm more pumped. <laughs> We're doing good. Let's go. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, eighteen. Woo! Yeah! Woo! This is Sharon Gardia for you guys, ladies and gentlemen. This is the awesome Red Bull athlete, freestyler. He couldn't be here in Pakistan, but um, we've got the uh, the freestyle and the freestyle competition coming up. So uh, you guys better sign up on WFFA and. Um, um, let me see. If we uh, let, let's see if we have any questions from the audience. Um, not many. They're just uh, having a ball watching you perform. Actually, I think. Um, okay. Uh, we wrap this up soon. Do you have any? Uh, do you have any messages for for the people of Pakistan? The any any last minute stuff? Okay. So I would say if this is the message for uh, the Pakistanis who, who like football anything uh, and uh, maybe it's difficult for them to practice at that time uh, because you don't have competition or everything is closed something like that so uh, you should you should not uh, stop to practice you can practice by yourself and it's actually, actually a good time to to find a new way to play a new inspiration new element you can practice freestyle you can practice ground move you can practice precision you can practice at home uh, with a uh, uh, workout as well. So this is for you the good time for practice your only uh, alone skills. All right, that that's great tips. Um, let me just uh, give a second to the audience if they have any questions. You can sit down and have a Red Bull, Sian, uh, while we <laughs> wait for some questions. Uh, do we have any questions, Pakistanio? Chalo. We won't get him later, so 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 um, throw in all your questions if you have any. Who? I'm just talking to our audience. There's uh, people watching, and we're giving them an opportunity to finally ask you a question before uh, you leave. Um, there's a lot of great comments for you, though. People are waiting for you to come to Pakistan. Great. I'm just checking if there is a question as well. Yeah. I see, I see as well. Uh, okay. Uh, So, so there is people um, 
So this is a question for a freestyler. I see if, if you allow me to, to go on with that. Go on, go on, go on. Um, so there is a Chen Zei Ishtiak. He, he say, um, Sean, you incorporate a lot of element uh, of break dancing in your freestyle. Can we see it? So first of all, I can't really show that in this environment. Uh, it's going to look messy and also the size of the screen not going to allow this. And I'm inside mm -hmm. just yeah. the question. I wanted to make sure you hear me because if we go outside, it might be difficult. So I'm, it's better you hear my information and you watch my move online. That's why I'm here inside. Uh, but but um, I had a chance to, to learn some breakdance move, break move, and that's helped a lot uh, for freestyle because freestyle is not only a trick with the ball, it's actually an expression. And if you can express with your body as well, it gives you an extra sauce, you know, like the, the spice who can actually help you a lot uh, in the competition or even in the show. And I remember sometime in Pakistan when I was performing, the reaction come from sometime, not freestyle move, but dance move, which is, yeah. Uh, yeah. All right, so we have a question from Savan Sari. She says, how many years have you been freestyling for? Uh, I start uh, football at six years old till, tw uh, till 20 years old. So 14 years of football without doing freestyle, just pur purely football. And I start freestyle at 21 years old till now, like uh, almost 15 years. So that's, that's incredible. Freestyle, uh, and you can get a really good level in three years, I think. Two, three years. Mm -hmm. In three years, I become a world champion. Uh, so in three years, you can really add a, a level. So three years is nothing, to be honest. Yeah. Cool. Um, all right, we have another question from Shamoon Ali. How are you training these days? You know, obviously with the whole pandemic and the quarantine, how, how do you train? Uh, you have to train at home most of the time. You take a room uh, or you go just in your garden if you have or in front of your house if you can. If you can't really, you can watch video and visualize. Maybe you can do certain exercise. You know, you, you don't really need a space. Sorry. You don't, you don't really need the space to do this kind of move, you know. If you need to, to balance the ball on the knee, for example, you can take the ball like this and, and try to hold the ball, you know, holding the wall. And that's, you don't need the space of holding the ball here, for example. You don't really need, uh, you don't really need the space. You see what I mean? So, so I'm, I'm working at home but most of the time. And now we, we can start to go out. So, so we are lucky in, in Dubai to, you can do that, but... You, you should work with your environment, and that's it. But you should work every day. And also, you should work out also. Body is as, as important as the skills. Susu ya Kiki. Yeah, so everybody, uh, he said, you got to keep fit, and you have to make uh, make with whatever space you have. And that's how Sian has been training. Um, all right, Sian, what's your best memory of Pakistan? You have a, one best memory? Uh, actually, you remember clearly? Uh, just before the call, I was searching of the picture. I don't know if you have that uh, with you, but I was, I was searching of the picture we had uh, in Pakistan, and I found some really cool moment. Let me let me show you. Uh, uh -huh. da -da 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 -da. Where is it? Yeah. Uh, for sure, I remember uh, in the street of. Uh, I, I went to I went to a really cool place. Uh, and I, I had to play against those kind of people. Oh, okay. This was Kabaddi. Okay, got it. Yes. Got it. <laughs> so that's a good memory because I play against these guys. And I had a chance to show and challenge people in university, uh, which was amazing. Um, what else? I, I could really like, you know, I remember the in the in the street there is a lot of bike. So I could yeah, like do yeah. cool, nice. cool stuff. Run the bike, uh, yeah. So I had really cool time. I can't really like picture one moment, but for sure my week in in, uh, in Pakistan was really special. And uh, yeah, I was so grateful to be there, and I can't wait to come back. Yeah, for sure. Uh, so thanks remember, for thanks I remember, for. I remember one moment. I remember really like. Uh, let me see if um, I found the video. Uh, do you know this? This do you know this show? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You went on the show, the TV show. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> With the audience and all. 
yeah, a New York game is fun, right? And and the thing is, uh, I said to the guy, okay, if I if I play against people, if one peep guy beat me, he can win something from me. And mm -hmm. uh, most of the time, I win. But that time, <laughs> one guy, he didn't know how to play football at all. And he just shoot the ball, and it was really slippery. The, the floor was really slippery. And uh, I can confuse my leg and stuff like that. The ball came between my legs by accident, and he won. And I remember all the comment, like, yeah. I, you could fly by a specific name. I don't remember how you guys call it, because he had, like, a white, white clothes. Got it. And Got it. it like it was really funny i got really many messages from that so if there is people remember that or after the video send me please all right anybody who's got like videos uh, with sian or against playing with him uh send send him all the videos uh, i have a question um for me okay how many years have you trained and become international player i've been playing for 12 years i'm 26 years old um i used to run track before this so i used to run half marathons uh and play high school basketball but wow. football i've only been playing 12 years yeah um so i mean we have a long way to go i play i, I play for a club in the maldives um i trained with some german bundesliga clubs and i was in dc last year training um my idea of getting to play international is to bring that skill back home and teach the girls here. Um, but um, that's a bit about me. Uh, and you all uh, heard from Sian. Uh, thank you so much, Sian, for joining me and uh, Red Bull Pakistan and footballpakistan.com. Um, you know, it was a great pleasure to hear from you about your experiences and about, you know, the street style competition. And I'm sure a lot of people uh, tuned in, watched your tips and tricks and we'll be signing up, we hope. Um, again, one last time before uh, we um, <clears throat> wrap up, WFFA is the app where you guys can um, register your freestyling moves and um, you get a chance to sort of uh, compete at the world level uh, and represent Pakistan. Um, so, uh, tune into the Red Wolf Pakistan uh, Instagram page for more updates. And sian has got his Instagram, I've got mine, we've got our Facebook pages and our Twitters and everything. Um, so, um, thanks again, Sian, for uh, joining us. Um, any last, any last words? I just remember the name of the show was Gito pa G Gito Pakistan. Gito Pakistan. Gito Pakistan. <laughs> yeah, yeah uh, I, I will drop uh, in a few days or maybe today. I don't know. Uh, some of my best memory in Pakistan, my uh, story, so maybe Instagram so, or Facebook, so keep watching. Thank you for everybody who tuning in. Don't hesitate to DM me if you need any question, any advice, and uh, please, please get the chance to participate for the Red Bull Street Style. Even if you are not that good in freestyle, it's a good good test for you to see, to to give you just a, a shot. And also the, the latest date when you can upload your video is 21 of June. 21 of June okay. is the latest when you can put your video on the WFFA application. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in to all the Pakistanis who are signed up, tuned in, and uh, heard us. Uh, thanks, Sian, again. And uh, we will sign out now. We hope to see you in Pakistan real soon, all right? Bye-bye. All right. Cheers, Sian. Bye.